Hi, let's see how to fix the Discord Steam Past problem. Are you tired of encountering the frustrating Discord Steam Past problem while trying to share your screen or the Steam content with your friends or the colleagues? You are not alone. Many Discord users have faced this issue, which can disturb the flow of the communication and collaboration. So let's see how to fix the Discord Steam Past problem. The first method is restart the Discord. Begin by restarting the Discord application. This simple step can resolve the temporary glitches. To restart the Discord, you can follow some of the steps. Close the Discord application. Uh, if the Discord is open, close the application by clicking on the X in the upper right corner of the window. Quit the Discord if you are using the Mac from the Discord menu bar. At the top, select the Discord and then choose Quit Discord on the Windows. You can right click on the Discord icon in the system tray and then select Quit Discord. Finally, you can relaunch the Discord after quitting the application. Relaunch the Discord by clicking on the Discord icon on your desktop and searching for it in your Applications folder. The second method is run Discord as an administrator running the Discord with the administrative privileges can help bypass the certain permission related to the issues that might be causing the Steam to pass. To run the Discord as an administrator, locate the Discord, find the Discord application on your desktop taskbar or the applications folder, right click on the Discord icon, right click on the Discord icon to open the context menu. Select run as the administrator from the context menu. If prompted by the user, account control Click yes to confirm. The third method is update the graphic drivers. Outdated or the faulty drivers can impact the Discord ability to stream smoothly. Ensure that your graphic drivers are up to date by visiting the official website of your graphic card manufacturer and downloading the latest drivers. Identify your graphic card. Determine the manufacturer and the model of the graphic card. Visit the manufacturer's website. Go to the official website of the graphic card manufacturer. For example, if you have NVIDIA graphic card, visit the NVIDIA website. Locate the driver download section. Navigate to the support or the driver section of the website to find the driver download. Select the graphic card model. Use the provided tools or search functions to select your specific graphic card model and open in the Windows operating system you are using or it can be Windows 10 or Windows 11. Download the latest drivers, locate and download the latest drivers for your card, graphic card. Ensure that you are downloading the correct driver for your specific operating system and graphic card model. Install the driver. Once the driver is downloaded, run the installer and follow the on-screen instructions to install the updated graphic driver. Finally, you can restart your computer after the installation is complete. Restart your computer to apply the changes. The fourth method is check your internet connection. Make sure that you have a proper internet connection with very good speed and a very good bandwidth. If you are having a poor internet connection, try to reset your router or the modem. That will fix any kind of bugs or the glitches present in your internet connection. But still, if you are facing the issue, you can contact the internet service provider for further assistance. They are the expertise, they will help you to fix the problem and they will give you the best solution. The fifth method is reset the voice settings in the Discord settings. Navigate to the voice and video set section. Click on the reset voice settings. This can help you to clear any misconfiguration that might be affecting the streaming feature. To reset the voice settings in the Discord, you can follow some of the steps. Open the Discord application and log into your account. Click on the gear icon located on the bottom left corner of the Discord window to access the user settings. In the user settings menu, select the voice and video from the left hand sidebar. Scroll down to the bottom of the voice and video settings until you find the reset voice settings button. Click on the reset voice settings button to initiate the reset process. A confirmation dialog may appear to confirm that you want to reset the voice settings. Confirm the reset action if prompted. This will reset your voice settings 
to their default values. So the sixth method is contact the discard support team. If you have tried all of the troubleshooting methods and if you're still facing the problem, you can contact the discard support team for further assistance. They have the expertise, they will help you to fix the problem and they will give you the better solution. Okay, so that's all about this. Thank you.